a different crop for Afghanistan's farmers. Opium's big business in the country is what on East, but today so are roses. Mahmadine Sapai once grew poppies, but now pockets more than $1,000 a year in pittles after nearly a decade in the business. They provided us with the plants, the tools, and even paid us for the first year when we had no harvest. Now I have 600 plants, and I collect up to 1,200 kilos of petals. Afghanistan is the world's top opium producer. The drug is a major source of income for the Taliban, and the total area under cultivation has hit a record high. But this initiative has convinced some farmers in rural Ningarhal to give up poppies. We have solid contracts with the farmers who grow roses, asking them to stop cultivating poppy and other types of narcotics. And the places where we grow roses are clean from poppy 100%. Security is a constant concern in the region. Two years ago, 50 farmers were forced to abandon their rose farms in an Islamic State group hotspot. More than 800 farmers are on board, though, from just a few dozen at the beginning, supplying rose water and oil for markets at home and abroad. We are using roses of Damascus, which contain the best perfume, and they grow very well. Our products have a good market in every corner of the world. An alternative money-making flower for Afghanistan's farmers, who are waging perfume, not war.